हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस येट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट इनइक्वालिटी विच विल बी प्रूफ यूजिंग द लेग्रेंजेस मीन वैल्यू थियोरम राइट सो हियर वी हैव टू प्रूफ दिस इनइक्वालिटी दैट इज द लॉग ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन इज लेस देन टू एक्स स्क्वायर फॉर ऑल एक्स विच लाइज बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन राइट so here uh, we'll discuss this inequality uh, using the lagrange's mean value theorem right so let us start so here uh, what we will uh, do uh, first of all we'll take an appropriate function right so here uh, what we will do uh, we'll take a function of this form that is y is equal to f of x uh, which is equal to uh, log of x square plus 1 and we will define this function in the interval uh, 0 comma x where x lies between uh, 0 and 1 right and we will uh, apply uh, this function to uh, the lagrange's mean value theorem and we'll see Uh, first uh, whether the conditions of uh, lagrange mean value theorem are satisfied by this function uh, in this interval where x lies between uh, 0 and 1 right so uh, here uh, we see that the first condition of lagrange mean value theorem is that if we have a function y is equal to f of x defined in its domain d in some interval a comma b then uh, this function must be a continuous function in the interval a comma b right and uh, the second condition is that uh, this function must be differentiable in the interval uh, open interval a comma b right and uh, once this function satisfies these two conditions then Uh, we must have a point c uh, which lies between a and b that is c is greater than a but less than b or c belongs to the interval a comma b uh, such that the derivative of f of x at this point uh, x equal to c uh, must be equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a right so let us apply uh, the lagrange mean value theorem uh, to this function right so we see that uh, here we have the uh, logarithmic function right and x square is always a positive quantity and uh, one is uh, a positive quantity so x square plus 1 is a positive quantity right so we know that the log function is a continuous function in its domain so here uh, this function f of x uh, which is log of x square plus 1 is a continuous function this is a continuous function in the interval uh, 0 comma x where x lies between 0 and uh, 1 right okay and the second condition is that uh, this function is differentiable in this interval that is uh, 0 comma x right so f prime of x is equal to the derivative of log of x square plus 1 right and this is 1 over x square plus 1 the derivative of log x is 1 over x so here we have x square plus 1 so the derivative of log x square plus 1 is 1 over x square plus 1 and then by chain rule the derivative of x square plus 1 is 2x right so we have 2x over 1 plus x square right and we can easily see that uh, this function f of x uh, is the differentiable in the interval 0 comma x where x lies between 0 and 1 right so uh, this function f of x has its derivative at all points in the interval 0 comma x where x uh, 
uh, is greater than 0 but less than 1 right so we can now write f of x is uh, derivable or differentiable in the interval uh, 0 comma x right so the conditions of uh, Lagrange mean value theorem are satisfied by uh, this function uh, subject to uh, this condition right so there must exist some point say x is equal to c uh, belonging to uh, this interval that is uh, 0 comma x such that f prime of c must be equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a right and here uh, our a is uh, 0 and b is uh, uh, x right so we have f of x minus f of 0 uh, divided by b minus a so this is x minus 0 so we have f of x minus f of 0 divided by x right so now f prime of c is equal to f of x is the function itself so we have log of x square plus 1 and f of 0 is defined here so this is the log of uh, 0 square plus 1 because uh, here we'll take x is equal to 0 right and uh, in the denominator we have x and this quantity is uh, simply log of 1 0 square is 0 plus 1 1 so log of 1 is 0 right so we have simply a uh, log of x square plus 1 uh, divided by x right so now what we will do uh, see here we have f prime of c so it means uh, we have to uh, write the derivative of f of x at x is equal to c and f prime of x is 2x over 1 plus x square so here we'll take x is equal to c to get f prime of c right so now we have 2c divided by 1 plus c square that is equal to uh, log of uh, x square plus 1 uh, divided by x right so now we have this expression and using this expression we have to arrive at this inequality right so what we will do uh, here we'll take uh, the concept of uh, simple inequalities see uh, this quantity 1 plus c square right so c square plus 1 is obviously greater than 1 right because uh, c here c lies between uh, 0 and 1 right and uh, uh, when uh, c square is added to 1 then this quantity c square plus 1 is always greater than uh, 1 right so this is an important step here c square plus 1 is greater than 1 so now what we will do uh, we'll take the reciprocal of uh, both sides right so what we will get we'll get 1 over 1 plus c square is less than 1 because the reciprocal of 1 is uh, 1 over 1 that is uh, 1 right so 1 over 1 plus c square is less than 1 and see here uh, uh, we have 2c in the uh, numerator of uh, 1 plus c square right so what we will do uh, we'll multiply uh, both sides by uh, 2c right because uh, c is obviously greater than 0 so 2c is obviously greater than uh, 0 right so we can safely uh, multiply it uh, both sides by 2c uh, without altering the direction of this uh, inequality right so what we will get we'll get 2c over 1 plus c square is uh, less than uh, 2c right so now we have this inequality right okay so to move further uh, we'll now uh, make use of uh, another inequality uh, that is uh, uh, c is greater than 0 but it is less than x right because c here uh, due to the Lagrange's mean value theorem at this point x is equal to c uh, must lie between uh, 0 and x right 
so c lies between 0 and x now we'll uh, multiply throughout by 2 right because here we have 2c so what we will get we'll get 0 here we have 2c here we have 2x right so now uh, we have uh, 2c greater than 0 but less than 2x right so now if we uh, merge these two inequalities see what we will get we'll get 2c over 1 plus c square is less than 2c and this 2c is further less than 2x right so here we'll write 2x so now uh, we have this inequality that is 2c over 1 plus c square is less than 2c which is further less than 2x now uh, here we have 2c over 1 plus c square and c uh, 2c over 1 plus c square is log of x square plus 1 over x so here we'll take uh, this value right so what we will get we'll get log of x square plus 1 over x is less than 2c and which is further less than 2x right so now if we uh, combine uh, this uh, uh, expression and this expression then we have log of x square plus 1 over x is less than 2x right and c uh, x lies between 0 and 1 so it means x is greater than 0 right so we can uh, multiply uh, throughout or both sides by uh, x and we can safely write uh, log of uh, uh, x square plus 1 is less than 2x square right so multiplying both sides by x here we'll get rid of x and here we'll get 2x square and which is our desired inequality right so viewers this is how by making use of uh, Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, we can uh, arrive at this inequality right